r slash ask reddit what should everyone try at least once in their life serious exploring different places around your neighborhood on your own you never realize what you can find until you try then bring someone along with you next time and show them i did this once as a teen just took my dog out for a walk to a part of the neighborhood I didn't usually go to. We found a little path behind the last street, which led to a cute creek, which led to an idyllic bend where there was a beautiful huge cottonwood tree and the grass so soft all around it. Ended up taking the dog there for picnics every weekend. Whoa, what a spectacular find. Sounds like the prerequisites include a nicer neighborhood. Trying that around here you'll get mugged. That is true. Not all neighborhoods are safe to wander alone. Someone dead in the eyes and say exactly what you think about them. See how it turns out. My wife and I were visiting a friend. He's a great guy, but he had this long, bad comb over. He walked down to the road for the mail, and we were discussing the comb over with his brother. As he walked up, I looked at him and said, Dude, I have to say something. You're bald. Your comb over isn't fooling anyone. You should just cut that thing off and be a decent looking bald guy, because the comb over isn't working. The next time we saw him it was gone. His long beard was cut shorter, and he was losing weight. It was true, he did look a lot better, under an umbrella, but learn a post apocalypse skill. That's what I call them in my head. Mine was blacksmithing. I took a blacksmithing course over the summer, and learned a staggering amount about what it takes to take raw materials and turn them into useful tools. I have a background in geology, and metallurgy has always interested me, so it made sense. Seriously, find something low or no tech that makes you feel accomplished. Woodworking, smithing, animal husbandry, archery, soap making, beekeeping, hell, grow some corn. Something to remind you where we've been as a species. I absolutely love this one. I was a boy scout for 8 years and part of what I loved about it so much was the diverse amount of skills I was able to learn. One thing I would still love to learn is blacksmithing. It sounds so fun. In a foreign language. It improves the way you think in your own native language and makes you a more dynamic person. I'm a linguistic pattern analyst. Certified fluent in 5 and I can say this is legitimately some of the best advice. You'll learn so much about a culture from their colloquial dialects and national languages. In prison I knew a white supremacist. Big skinhead guy named Kenny. For fun I taught him Spanish. A little each day. We did that every day for about a year together and by the end of it he could converse with the Mexican nationals and he began to empathize with them. It caused him to see things differently. To recognize them as human beings. Just through being able to actually communicate with them. It's surprising how much people have to say. Once they truly can communicate. Language is such a beautiful thing rife with its own rich history. Culture and flair. I don't know who I would be if I had never found my love for language. You were in prison? I was. For three years. Traveling to another country. It's really great to experience a different culture. And staying at a resort in Cancun is not experiencing another culture. Didn't Sandals have an advert for Jamaica that actually said something like you won't even know you're in Jamaica. You like. What the hell's the point in going there? The point of those resorts is more that you can experience a level of luxury that would be, be prohibitively expensive in the US. A beachside resort in Florida or something will be hundreds of dollars a night and charge a fortune for drinks and food. But a week at an all-inclusive resort on Cancun or Playa is like a thousand bucks and comes with all the free booze you can drink and several free meals a day. Some of them are really nice too. Especially if you up your budget to like $1,300-ish. And when I say a thousand bucks I mean like literally a thousand bucks. You can book through a travel agency and it will include flights and rides from to the airport. All you have to do is get yourself to the local airport for departure and after that you don't have to spend another cent the whole trip. Doing something kind for a stranger. They may remember it for a lifetime. I think that's an important thing. But I think the most important thing is you can keep that memory to yourself and you can remember for a lifetime. Stargazing really makes you realize how insignificant you are in the larger scheme of things. Hard to stargaze when there's so much light pollution that you can't see the stars. Go hiking trekking with your friends. Special reason why with friends, I live in the Netherlands where trekking options are minimal, or at least quite boring to me, but I like to do some hiking when on vacation. 
Usually with my wife that did the W track in Patagonia once with friends which was great. Hiking with closely bonded friends is a truly wonderful experience. Spending extended time with people fundamentally different from you. Does school count for that one? Only if you make an effort to actually get to know your classmates. Being in the same room isn't enough.